Tatum. Bottom of this Taylor Swift mm -hmm. thing. Because fans are suing Ticketmaster and Live Nation following last month's pre-sale ticket fiasco. Yeah, so Ticketmaster says it canceled the public sale for Taylor's tour because of high demand. But the lawsuit claims fraud, price fixing, and here's the one, antitrust violation. So fans are also upset that scalpers and bots scooped up most of the tickets. We believe out of the 1.5 million codes that were given out that some of those were given to scalpers and to bots and they weren't even Taylor Swift fans. 41 times I was able to get tickets in my cart. 41 times I tried to buy tickets and I was never able to. Oh, geez. So we want to bring in attorney Lexi Rigdon to join, talk more about this lawsuit and what this could mean because this could probably affect other, you know, concert sales. Yes, things. but everybody Take a deep breath. Taylor is not in trouble. Taylor is not being sued. Right. The the entity that is being sued is Live Nation, who owns Ticketmaster. So they are essentially a two-headed snake. Well, Live Nation puts on great concerts. I mean, right. they're, they're great concert promoters. And they're at the link, too. So the link uses right. Live Nation. So you would need to go through Ticketmaster to get tickets at the link, which That's... is essentially the issue that they're alleging is that, that it's like a, a big monopoly. monopoly. Mm -hmm. Right. It's a monopoly. Exactly. And that's why there are antitrust laws to, to protect consumers and to increase and encourage competition in the market. And unfortunately, it, that's not doing it. They've got like 70% of the market share, which is the crux of the complaint, along with unfair business practices and price fixing and everything else. Because I didn't even know. I mean, I'm so untech savvy. I didn't know bots, bots and, and were buying up tickets. Computers but can buy tickets. That's yeah. the mm -hmm. other problem is that when you resell them, you have to use Ticketmaster's secondary market. So they're making money a, a second time. So they make oh, it on wow. the primary market and then they make it on the secondary market because you basically have to use them. So that's one of the things this suit is trying to address. So what do you do if you're a fan? I mean, because this is going to have to go to court. Mm -hmm. Right, unless it settles. But this has been something that's been alleged against Ticketmaster and Live Nation since the the Department of Justice actually had to approve their merger in 2009. There's a big concern about this, and it's actually having bipartisan support, the power of Swifties, bipartisan support with state and federal lawmakers saying, we need to look into this. This so just isn't right. Their concerns have come to fruition. They have come to fruition. Yep. Pearl Jam even filed a complaint against Ticketmaster mm -hmm. in the 90s. So who knew that they were ahead of the curve? Mm. So then wh what's going to happen next? So I guess the judge will have to decide, and then we'll... It'll be broken down unless it's settled or yeah, I mean, there's, money there's, is going to be handed there's over? There's a or? chance it's settling or, or not. You know, it might go to trial. But what they're asking for is $2,500 per violation of the Unfair Practices Act and then a, a, variety, <laughs> a variety of other relief. But the concert... Because aren't there thousands of people who are... Yeah, and the concert's coming up in May. Right. Do you, I don't know if you can get this resolved by May. No, and I mean, they're, they're, it's like, you're still not going to the concert. Yeah. <laughs> right. So that's ultimately what they wanted. And in fact, that the lawyer who was on the video, Jennifer Kinder, she's a Swifty too. That's how she got... got that's how she... <laughs> That's how she kind of got into this is she was an aggrieved Swifty. And it's funny, the complaint's very dramatic. It refers to this as the disaster many times. So it's kind of like a, an akin to a modern day Titanic, apparently. Oh, for good these. Lord. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but still, I mean, it, it, prob it may not get resolved. So those scalpers are going to make the money. Right. And Ticketmaster's already made the money. And they've already admitted wrongdoing. I mean, they fell on the sword very quickly after this whole fiasco happened. So we that's probably going to be Exhibit mm. A. Right. Yeah. Exactly. What's he thinks? Thank, Thank you. you.